Tonight, a follow-up to the story of two Norfolk women who have serious medical issues and they are homeless. One sleeps in a chair, the other on a sofa. Both women may soon have a home and a bed to call their own. How are you feeling today, Lestine? I don't feel good. What's wrong, hon? Well, one thing. I'm not getting no proper sleep. Nor can she raise her left arm after suffering two aneurysms and a stroke. Ten on your side introduced you to Lestine Langston and housemate Belinda DeBerry last week. Good Samaritan Carolyn Jackson hopes the sunny day will ease anxiety. But I have moments of depression that, that kick in. On a sweltering day in June, both women stood in a line that wrapped around the Norfolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority's building just to apply for public housing. Ten on your side viewers responded. A letter this week from Virginia Beach lifted spirits. This is a letter <coughs> from Miss Mosley. Somebody contacted her. It's housing assistance. On Monday, Lestine received notification from NRAJ of an interview for Mid-Rise Housing for the elderly and persons with disabilities. But thank you for everything you do for them, because everybody's talking about you. And what was the, at times, spunky Lestine talking about? That's Chris, yeah. Hey, Chris. Hey. How you doing? Doing all right. Yeah. Uh -huh. She is still traumatized by the wait list process back in June. Will I have to go out there and stand in the sun again? I don't think I'm going to be able to take it. No, we will make sure that does mm -hmm. not happen to you ever again. Ever. And there's more. Moments ago, we learned Belinda also has an interview with NRHA for housing.